Hi everybody and thanks for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Dave Caldwell and for the last 17 years I've been an award-winning host, producer, anchor, play-by-play -play sportscaster here in Los Angeles and before that I was a sitcom writer. I've been nominated for an Emmy as a host and producer of a sports special and for eight years in a row I was named by the Los Angeles Daily News as one of Southern California's best play-by-play -play sportscasters. In fact, I've called more than 1,000 games in my career. Let me take a moment and give you a taste of what I can do. Tonight from the Brick House, a capacity crowd as SCB TV presents the Boys Foothill League Game of the Week, the Hard Indians taking on the Canyon Cowboys. Hi again, everybody. Thanks again for joining us here on SCB TV. I'm Dave Caldwell. Big night in front of us. It's the final game of the regular season. This place is going to be loud. The energy level is going to be off the charts, and for great reason. A lot to play for here tonight. Abse with 17 touchdowns against just four picks. He's two for three in this game. Williams goes in motion. Abse alone has the time. It starts to break down. Now he's going to run for it. He's got a first down as he comes to a slide at the 44-yard line. That's going to be a 13-yard scamper for Abse, who has 284 yards rushing coming into this game. Well, this Leading receiver coming into the game with 33 catches. Second team Foothill League from a year ago on his way to Duke. And we just saw him featured at halftime as our student athlete of the week. And that ball is intercepted. Alex Rasul, touchdown. <laughs> Alex Rasul is nothing short of a playmaker. He is a sack machine and now he has picked up his first interception of the season and he returns it for six points. Well, we Let's see what the Vikings can get going on offense. Wallace back. He's got Stone Jackson. Jackson slips a tackle, a second, a third, a fourth. Jackson still on his feet, and he's going to get brought down at the 37-yard line, 22 yards on the play. And this is Austin, the young man starting in place of Ryan Beto at, at the point. Austin has had a lot of playing time this season, and there's Jacob Tobon firing it up the three to start things off. Tobon, last week against Hart, scored 25 points in what was arguably the first time he's been healthy all season long. So first and ten behind him, Sean McGrew, just a sophomore, but he's had six 100-yard rushing games this season. So from the 39-yard line, this is going to be McGrew. He's going to take it to the left side, and McGrew is going to get to the 45-yard line, give him six yards on the game coming in. McGrew leading this team in rushing. 1,252 yards, averaging 10 and a half yards a carry. Yeah, anytime you can carry average 10 and a half yards a carry, that bodes well for your offense. It says something about this offensive line that averages, averages across the five guys, 305 pounds, led of course by Damian Mama, 6'5", 353 pounder. Testing the right side this time is gonna be Sean McGrew and he'll have first down yardage as he's gonna get down to the 45 yard line. We see the impressive numbers for Chris Davidson both offensively and as a pitcher. What are some of the intangibles that he brings to the game that we can't see when we're looking at a box score? Uh, his confidence is, is the biggest intangible. Yeah. Argren, just a freshman, a couple of youngsters out here, had a 14-game hit streak during the course of the season. Seven multi-hit games, swing and a miss. That one goes off the face mask of Nick Kitzman, the catcher today for Santa Inez. But he's one for 16 in the playoffs. Two balls and two strikes to Argren. Lined out to first baseman Zach Snyder. Let's go ahead and set the defense now for the Pirates from Santa Inez. Zach Snyder making that great play. He is the first baseman. Brock Dickey is at second. Jacob Pritchard, the shortstop. Nick Ruelas is at third. Tyler Kelly is in left. Colby Barrick in center. Kyle Vantillo in right. Nick Kitzman is the catcher. And Zach Tora on the bump. And Tony, like you mentioned, just a sophomore. How impressive is that? That that young man gets the call here in this championship game for the first time ever in Santa Inez history to be here. I can provide links to all of these clips in their entirety and more if you would like. But before I go, I would like to leave you with this. I love what I do and respect my profession immensely. I shoot, write, edit, voice, everything. But I'm not defined by my job. I'm a father, a husband, a Christian who believes in the values of hard work, integrity, and honesty. I value the relationships of everyone in my life, whether it be my family, friends, or coworkers. 
And when it comes to my job, I know every day is an opportunity to experience something new. If you have any questions or you just want to chat about what my vision of sports reporting is, all of my contact information is there on the screen. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch, and hopefully I'll hear from you soon.